Welcome to the next video in the Photoshop CS5 for architecture students. In this video we're going to go through a scanning process and we're going to do the scanning process within Photoshop. Now you can see I've launched an instance of Photoshop. I've got my design workspace loaded up and have it set up um, as per my preferences. Now most of you guys would um, have access to a scanner or um, have your own way of scanning, but um, in this instance I have um, loaded up a plugin so that my scanner appears in the file import window. Now later in this video I'll show you where to get that plugin and also um, how to load it into um, Photoshop to, so you can replicate this process. Now I usually like scanning within the Photoshop application. Now the import function is hidden under the file application. If we scroll down we go to import and you can see here's all the number of scanners um, that I use um, at different times. Currently I've got this scanner here, the Canon LID30 connected to my computer. So I'm going to select that option there. Now what will happen is that um, it will automatically launch the scanner interface. So in this instance what I'm going to do, I've got an uh, image on the platen. I'm just going to preview that image. Now, when you're scanning um, your images, it's important to actually try and get the best quality scan um, at the point of capture. The other thing to note is that if you've got a fairly lousy um, drawing in the first instance, it's very grey, it's very light, the line work is very inconsistent, you're never really going to get a brilliant scan. In this instance, I've got quite a crisp, um, clean, uh, hand-drawn image. Now, it's a black and white drawing, so I'm going to drop down the mode over here to grayscale. And I'll give it a fairly high resolution. I'm, I'll punt for 600 dpi. And I probably will not use um, the the scan at that resolution when I start manipulating it in Photoshop but as a rule of thumb I generally like to capture these things at a fairly high resolution. Now after the preview I get a um, scannable area. Now each um, scan interface will be different. In this case it gives me a marquee. Now I'm happy with that extent so I'm going to hit the scan button and the scanner will actually go through the process. Now, what will happen is that after it's scanned the image, it will load it up as a file, and as we keep scanning subsequent images, you'll see the scans appear as tabbed windows along the top. So the scan is almost done here. Okay, the scan is sitting in there. I'm just going to close the scan window because I'm done scanning at the moment. And there's my um, scanned image waiting for me in Photoshop. Now you might be asking because in the typical um, install of Photoshop when you go to the import most of the times you will actually not see these scanners already loaded up. That's because the Twain plugin is not a standard install when you um, install Photoshop for the first time on computer. But Adobe makes the um, plugin available free of charge. Now most scanners are what they call Twain compliant, so what we're looking for is the Twain plugin. Now it may be, this process may be slightly different if you're using a, a Mac based computer, but I'm going to show you on a Windows based computer. So here's the site um, that you'll need to look at for to find um, the represent, uh, requisite plugin for CS5. It's through the Adobe site. And if we scroll down, you can actually see the download location for that for Mac OS or for Windows. Now, what you will actually get is a file with a whole bunch of plugins. When you open that file up, you can see then there's a folder with optional plugins. I'm on a 32-bit Windows um, operating system. And here I can see the Twain plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to close off this window. And then we're going to navigate 
to the program uh, location where we're going to drop that plugin into. So if I look on my local disk, I find my program files, go to Adobe where they should be held, Photoshop CS5, and if we scroll down until we find a folder called Plugins, and then we just copy it into place. It's as simple as that. Now, you will have to close off Photoshop um, after you've loaded the plugin, and then when you open up the next instance of Photoshop, those plugins should call forward all the scanning software that you've got um, installed on your computer. So hopefully you found that useful. We'll be going through um, cleaning up and saving this image in a subsequent video, so stick around and we'll go through that.